Hello, doctors, and thank you for coming to this website. One of the most underrecognized reasons for your patient's sciatic, back, hip, leg, and thigh pain can be due to a nerve entrapment of the most distal branch of the sciatic nerve that is located at the third interspace of the feet. In 1985, Dr. Albert Brown of Fort Lauderdale discovered that by giving a simple nerve block into the third interspace, patients' nerve, back, hip, and leg pains would often go away. Now, if you are a, a GP, a internist, a neurologist, an orthopod, a pain specialist, or a uh, physicist, the things that I'm about to show you in this video, you'll be able to take back to your office today and start to use on your patients to make them feel better. This video will explain to you what the nerve entrapment located between the third and fourth toes at the third interspace of the foot is and how it could be the real cause of your patient's back, hip, leg, and other sciatic pains. I will also show you how to examine for the nerve entrapment so that you can make the proper diagnosis of it. Most important, I will demonstrate a simple nerve block that you can use in your office for the treatment of the injured or entrapped nerve of the third interspace of the foot. Finally, I will discuss how to bill for the nerve block so that you can get reimbursed for performing it. It may be hard to understand how one injured nerve in the foot could be a major cause of pain of the back, hip, thighs, and legs, but the common plantar nerve is the most distal branch of the sciatic nerve. Any injury to it can result in pain anywhere along the course of the sciatic nerve. The most frequent injury that occurs to the nerve is a nerve entrapment. That entrapment takes place under the third and fourth metatarsal heads at the transverse metatarsal ligament in the third interspace of the foot. Once the nerve is entrapped or damaged, it will not produce the normal nerve impulses needed for the sciatic nerve to work properly. Because of this, nerve will instead generate abnormal, irregular, and pathologic nerve impulses. These atypical impulses then travel back up the sciatic nerve and along its numerous branches causing pain all along the way. The first thing you will need to do is to determine if your patient has any type of pathology of the third interspace of the feet. The vast majority of patients will tell you they never had any history of pain in that area. The circle in this photograph is where you will begin your examination. Using the circle as a guide, squeeze the top and bottom of the foot with strong pressure using your thumb and second finger. It does not matter which finger is above or below the circle. Make sure the digit on the top of the foot is pushing down flat and not digging in with your fingernail. To continue the examination, move your thumb and second finger along the course of the red arrow until you reach the end of the third interspace at the tip of the arrow. Note how this area is palpated in the video. Normally, the patient should have no pain whatsoever during the examination, but if you do observe any pain during the examination, note the most tender or painful spot, or mark it with a pen. If the patient demonstrates even the slightest or most minimal discomfort during this examination, then it indicates that the common plantar nerve is injured. If this is the case, the patient should be treated with the nerve block in order to numb and stop the pathologic nerve impulses that are being produced what is being presented for the first time in this video is the concept that a patient can believe they have nothing wrong with their feet, yet they do have a damaged nerve at the third interspace of the foot that they are not aware of. This damaged nerve could be sending abnormal impulses back up the sciatic nerve that could be the real cause of many of your patient's problems. This damaged nerve is what you will be examining for when a patient comes to your office with back, hip, or leg pains, they normally will not complain of having any type of foot problems. 
have them take off their shoes and socks and examine the third interspace for pain. The patients are always surprised how painful the third interspace is when you examine it, especially since their foot never hurt them before. Before I tell you how to give the nerve block itself for the damage common plant on nerve, let me explain what I inject into the patient. The medication that I use is one, two cc's of 1% or 2% lidocaine plain, two, two cc's of 0.5 marcaine. Optionally, you could use one half cc of any fast acting steroid such as Decadron. I use a 5 cc syringe with a 27 gauge inch and a half needle. The nerve block itself is made up two separate and distinct injections. The first injection will be at the spot that you marked or determined as being the most painful one during your examination of the interspace. The needle is then inserted into the foot at a direct 90 degree angle. In other words, the syringe and needle should be straight up and down. Once the needle is inserted, the aim of the injection is to get the tip of the needle straight down to the very bottom of the foot where you will inject 2 cc's of the solution. In the beginning, you may meet some resistance in getting the needle to the bottom of the foot. This is because the foot is very bony in this area. If this occurs, just pull back and simply redirect the needle by probing until you find a new location that will allow you to get to the bottom of the foot. If after several attempts, you still cannot get to the bottom of the foot, totally remove the needle from the foot and reinsert it at another location. Here is another view of the first injection using a skeleton to show how the needle and syringe should go into the foot. Now let me turn to the second injection of the nerve block. The aim of this injection is to get the tip of the needle as close as possible to the transverse metatarsal ligament that attaches to the third and fourth metatarsal heads. This is where the common plant on nerve is being entrapped by the ligament. To start with, the needle is inserted around the general area of the base of the third interspace. This is the same spot you started your examination at. Note the red circle again. The needle enters the skin at a 45 degree angle and goes down toward the toes. The 45 degree angle allows the tip of the needle to slip under the third and fourth metatarsal heads so that it can travel downward and terminate right at the transverse metatarsal ligament on the bottom of the foot. As in the first injection, you may meet some resistance in doing this. This resistance is from hitting the bottom aspect of the third and fourth metatarsal heads and can be simply resolved by redirecting the tip of the needle to go slightly more plantar when you enter the skin. Here are two other views of the needle and syringe entering the foot at a 45 degree angle in order to slide under the third and fourth metatarsal heads so that it could end up at the transverse metatarsal ligament. After doing this several times, it will get easier and easier for you and your staff to do. Based on my 25 years of giving this nerve block, I have found that even if the patient said there was no improvement after the first block, it is still worthwhile to try a second one because about one third of these patients do get appreciable improvement even if they did not get it after the first block. In order to maximize the patient's improvement, I will often give a second or third block 
about a week apart. If I felt it would help decrease their pains even more. The most common question I am asked about the nerve block is how long it will work for if it does work. The answer is I've seen it work anywhere from about two weeks to two years. There is no way to predict it. If you choose to bill for the nerve block, here is the procedure codes for it. Also here is the new ICDA-10 diagnostic codes that you could use. To, a, to avoid confusion, I need to mention that the condition known as a Morton's neuroma is another name for the entrapment of the common plantar nerve of the third interspace of the foot. So if you hear the term Morton's neuroma, you won't be confused by it. My sole uh, motivation in making this video is to encourage you to use the nerve block. I've used it off and on for 20, 30 years. I've used it on hundreds of patients and it does work. It's just one of those medical entities that has fallen in be between the cracks and you haven't heard about it. Do not allow that for you not to try and use it on your patients. If you use it, you can give them a much better quality of life you can get them out of their pain, and you will be doing a great service as a physician. Thank you for your time, and I hope you use it. Bye-bye.